Nerd Soul. Lay ill kid at one youngster holding it down, reading that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, y'all? Man, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go, cause it's anime is time, y'all. We talk about that fresh new anime on them streets, alright? And I'm not by myself. You know the crew. The crew gotta roll through, and I give to you, alright, the gaminated one, alright, the one and only Mama Straw Hat. Gamma Ray Cosplay, what's up? Hey, what's up, everybody? The girl Gamma Ray Cosplay, lawyer by day, cosplayer by night, and future mother of the King of Pirates. I just heard it. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, we got a couple of other people probably rolling through a little bit later. But uh, since Gamma always brings the fresh perspective on stuff that I probably would never even think to watch, uh, <laughs> Miss Ray. Uh, what are you watching? Ooh, what have I been watching? I'm so glad you had. Quite a pleasant thing. So, first up, um, I've been watching, uh, let me go through my little list. Let's see. Um, what did I watch today? Uh, so any sports fans out there, especially of the baseball, we got us a new sports anime. It's called Oblivion Battery. I highly recommend this for, you know, the people out there who are, you know, not only into sports, but particularly baseball. Um, Cause I learned something new. Um, clearly the relationship between the pitcher and the catcher is called a battery. Did not know that. Um, this show is, is I'm hooked. I imagine, it's by Mappa, again, they don't miss. Oh, word? Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and imagine it's it's got the same intensity of like uh Jitsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer fight scene but with baseball. So like you feel the passion behind the throw, the hit, it's like the it's like the power ups and, and and everything. But this unique story is these two best friends who grew up together and they were, you know, the dynamic duo of the team, pitcher, catcher, they they're taking out everybody. But the catcher, one of the friends, ends up having amnesia. And he's just like, baseball? What is that? I don't want to play baseball anymore. But the other friend, the pitcher, was like, well, if you're not playing, I'm not playing. And I'm going to do whatever I can to get you back on into baseball. And so they go to the school where they have no baseball team. But then they end up starting a baseball team. And it's kind of just like a backwards underdog story, kind of with a little twist to it really dope I'm interesting it. okay okay oblivion yeah. battery all right okay yeah. interesting um, and shasta um, mapa doing anything yeah yeah when i saw like because i was really feeling animation and everything and i was like man this is like oh i'm captivated and when i saw who was behind it i'm like not surprised not surprised <laughs> So, um, so I was watching, been watching that. Um, been watching Re Monster. That's really, really good. Um, oh boy! Sticking with it. It was a crazy. This, this week's episode was kind of crazy. Of course, the fan service was, was very high, but you know, I'm still interested to see where it goes. Um, let's see what else I've been into. Oh, another little, of course, the Isekai. It's uh, it's called um. As a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skills to rise in the world. Uh, hold up. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a mouthful. <laughs> Why did Isekai, you know what, they let you know out the gate that they're Isekai yeah. because they'd be like, all right, the name of our show is a paragraph. It is, and you just like, dear lower, you can't put that on nothing. Um, but I, I like this one. It, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. I, I'm liking it. It's the world building at it doing. Um, and it's not your typical Isakai where he's got super strength, you know, mind blowing powers. It his power is identifying those who got the skills and surrounding him. So it's he's building up his squad. So he's got like, you know, this epic headhunter feel, like identifying people, placing them in roles where they're gonna excel and like being their friend. That was pretty cool. Like, he found this one beggar, homeless, 
almost a uh, borderline slave type guy that nobody wanted anything to do with. And he just had all these hot skills. And he was like, no, I want you to come join me. Be a part of my household. I promise you, you know, like, sell. And he gave me a chance and just blew everybody away. And he's like, now I got to find me a maid. And now I got to find me an archer. And now I got to find me this and that. So, like, that's um, kind of what the story's going. So far, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I, it's it's interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I'll... Yeah. We had a couple more episodes. I'm, I'm, I'm there. You know, the action scenes are pretty good. Um, you know, I, even though I will say the one downside is because, like, I hate where they leave them as literal children for so long. I'm like, can we at least get them to teenager status? But, you know, I get why they do that. Kids are, have to be sacrificed for the future. Mm-hmm. And nobody wants to walk the dogs to do anything. <laughs> true, true. Um, and uh, I'll top it off with uh, another cute slice of life. Grandma and grandpa and grandma turn young again. Oh, Just yeah. You've lived a full life with the love of your life. And y'all are just, you know, waiting for it to go on to, to you know, greater passions and all of a sudden you get this opportunity to keep all that knowledge you have and literally turn young again and experience life all over. And this is really fascinating because, you know, the saying is like, what would I do if I knew what I knew now then? And you would think like, well, what would they do? And honestly, they keep living their very simple, elderly life. They picking apples. They hanging out with the old folks in the community playing sports and, and doting on their grandchildren and you know they're just like yeah we're young but like we still old in, in, in our hearts so it's cute it's okay cute. okay and I saw I saw a little bit of the trailer on it I was like you know what this look this looks nice it is it's cute I think you'd like it so you know I you know I try to give love to the to the slice of life here and there you know what I'm saying <laughs> Man, I try. I try to give. I try to give them some props every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I this goes without saying. Oh, um, I think uh, Kaiju number eight. I have been waiting so long for this. Like ever since I started reading the manga, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, this is going to get an anime. Uh, um, going to get greenlit to become an anime, and it did. And um, I will say for everybody who's out there giving it a shot. Continue to give it a chance. It might be a little slower than you'd like, but trust me, this is a story. I think it's gonna be up there with the Venus Slayer, the Jujutsu Kaisen, the My Hero Academia. Like, okay, and the first episode's already out. I thought it was, I thought uh-uh. it was coming out in May. Uh uh-uh. uh first episode's already out, and it's English dub, so they're doing simulcast. Yes. So like, you don't have to wait three weeks until it's English dub. I I, I yes. think that's gonna be good to capture the people because I think we lose a lot of people especially the first episode if it wasn't dubbed so that's what's up that's what's up all right now we also got you know what I'm saying uh, a brother Coop up in the house uh Mr. Cooper Mr. Cooper say what's up hey what's up y'all this will also be at Blurtish podcast on various formats website is still under D- development it's such a habit that i want to say it but you can find all of our websites and stores on our link tree various things t public we in several places so check us out all right that's what's up so all right so kaiju number eight number eight is out on a uh on a scale i guess one to ten uh miss ray uh, let a brother know uh, where are you ranking that you know what i'm saying as a premiere Amos episode you know what i'm saying where is it for you it's kind of tough because they're following the manga and then, like I said, it's a little slow because they're building, they're building out the world. But I will say for staying true to the, the source material, I'm definitely going to put it up there with, with an eight and a nine. Mm, um, okay. You know, it's got a, it's, it, it's got a little bit of action. It's not what we're all used to from, of course, the, you know, 
the Ninja Kamali fight scene from the jump, things like that. You're not going to quite get that, but the world that you experience with the Kaiju and like all that, like, that's what's going to captivate you. So I definitely put it up there and give it a good solid 8 9. All right. Now, have you seen it yet, Coop, or no? Nah, but y'all can sp- I know what it's about in the first episode. I, I read, so. Well, I, now I, I wanted to know if you had a ranking for the first episode or not because it, I didn't know. I thought it was a. Uh, oh yeah. I don't man. know why. I thought I thought it was coming out in early May, so that's why I wasn't even like checking for it. What now, Mike? We did a whole preview. I put it on the preview, babe, for, for for April. I told you the date. Yeah, but I I forgot, man. I be I be juggling a whole you, bunch of stuff. Cause you old, like, cause you getting old, man. Yo, man, I told you I was born in the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the apple that the grandpa grandma turn young again. Yo, man, you know, tell me. I haven't started. Wa- oh, have you? Uh, did you re- go over that? I haven't started watching it. I need to yeah. take a swig at it. How how do you how how is that so far? How do you feel about it? I, I, mean, I think it's really cute. I think I'm watching the pace. I think it's, it's very interesting to see, like, if you take the, like, old people who are, like, they're, like, in their 80s and 90s and give them a chance to be, like, 20 again, like, 20 or 30 years old again, like, what would they do? And then I honestly feel like that's probably what a lot of older people, especially black people, do. Like, yeah, they might feel young, but they ain't trying to, like, be all out in the streets and, nah, and doing nah. everything like they trying to be like they gonna continue they they same routine and and, and they know what them streets cycle. bring man them streets bring problems man even though I, I haven't what? watched you know what I like the design I like that they kept their hair white yeah but I think that's that helps when cause they do a lot of flashbacks okay so I think that keeps the confusion down and being like well, where true, are we? true true what are we looking at? Are we looking at them young now or young, like, in the past? Like, so I think that's what that, I feel like that's why they did that. Maybe, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what helped. Okay, It okay, probably cool. does help us distinguish them from, like, random Joe Blow or something, you know, because mm-hmm. you know how it is in, mon- in anime. They <laughs> look the same, like, when they do their flashbacks or, like, when that happens, they're with their little kids and newborns are, like, showing how they met it. They look the exact same. The only difference is the hair color. Mm, okay. All right, now, uh, uh, Mister Mr. Cooper, Mister Cooper, uh, you did the preview last week. You you brought us a couple of anime that uh, you were looking to get into. So, uh, what you been watching, my brother? Um. Well, just before you started, Rachel, did you do Windbreaker yet? Any of this? Did y'all ain't, I know you. No, you I hadn't gotten there. Okay. I just so, talked about some. Just stick with me still. Uh, okay. I'm going to go in a different direction. I know probably most people ain't watched this but me and Mark. But this is going to be... This ain't going to be everybody's favorite, but viral hit. Uh, I watched two episodes. I just watched episode two. I'm so far into the story from, I guess you could say, read watching that it's... I'm going to say that this is probably like a low B, but it's a good low B because I know it's coming. Um... I am noticing something that's a little it is the plot is similar to what is going on in the manhwa but the pacing of how they say the lines is a little off for me it's a little too much but it's go, like it's not too fast but I don't know I wish it'd slow down just a smidge but also I noticed something for some reason whoever's translating this from Japanese to English with the subtitles and maybe this is Japanese, somebody let me know. It's a little bit more rigid, whereas the manhwa or the webtoon, way more flowy. It, it fits to our English Western dialect way more smoother. Like it's way more cooler and hip. But I keep forgetting. Cause the Korea, they more, you know, especially South Korea, they've been around they they adapted a lot of our culture and vice versa really fast after the war and they picked that up so it's kind of like you know with k-pop obviously you could just see the 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 things that they pick up so with that said it throws me off a little bit because it's like i do like the anime the anime of course the animation is not gonna always be super whatever because it's like you know they talk dialogue then fights happen because you know that he gotta fight the bullies so so far 
we ended on the part where he he did get robbed he's like he's a little bit famous now he's not famous like he still haven't overcome the first boss if you will if this is like a video game he's kind of in the midst of that so he's in the midst of getting better and learning how not to get hurt but then this is right before he's gonna take down Paco who's just a butthead to the fully oh my god like if I don't it if I got to see if anything, I just got to always see this part animated where he take down his first real bully. But he just got his phone stolen. So the next episode is going to be where he's going to go in and get his phone back. And he does this by the bully, you know, spoilers, spoilers. But obviously, if you know what I hear about, basically, the man's going to take some punches. He's going to give a couple eventually. Hey, here we go with the spoil town, boy. I'm Look, this is where we at, man. Full on spoilers. You know, so... Episode ain't even out, it, boy. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. I tried to give it a shot, and I was, I was kind of excited about. It. I was like, okay, I like the concept, but I, and maybe it's the pacing, maybe something to about be honest, it. I was just like, to, what? I was, just, it was, it borderline gave me, it was almost cringy. It was just let, like, let me say I'm this. Like, oh. This is the easiest substitute because. I would say go to Black Master Donde's channel. Shout out to him. Just gave him a sub on Twitch yesterday. And then watch his reading of it. That will make it you want to get into the story a little bit more. I know that's I know it's like homework. I'm sorry, y'all. Because if you do start just from a good So that will make it smoother because one, he's reading it in English. And like I say, the translation on the manhwa, vastly superior. So I can see how this is cringy because yeah, I'm like reading it. I'm like, oh, it, it makes sense. It makes technical sense what they're saying, but it's so more rote, more stiff. If that makes like something between the Japanese people and the Korean people ain't flowing for my English mind. And mm. Korea seemed to know how to make it like, all right, we're going to be cool with this. <laughs> like we know, what, we know what these people in the West kind of like. Whoever translated that now, I don't know. Does an English person translate it from the the native language, or does a native person translate it to the web too? However that works, whatever process, it's smoother than whoever's translating on the Japanese side that way. But I know that a lot of Asian languages, it's hard, especially for Japan. They have to create words to fit some of the slang. Yeah, because where, in a lot of cases, you're translating meaning more than the word itself. Yeah, and Jap in Japanese is just like, oh, it makes them sound like like Ninja said, a little more cringy. Now, good thing though, I do like the look of it. They're adding a little more stuff to it that wasn't in the man wall, like the one of the people who's gonna become his editor. Like, so she wasn't really introduced in the first two episodes. You didn't see her or meet her, but you see in the anime that she's actually in the class and she's just short. And like when the fight is breaking out, she's like jumping up to see or whatever. So you get to see this person that you did not see doing that in the man wall. So that was cool. So that was a bonus. Mm. It makes it more lived in. Spoil town. Keep going. It's not spoiling at all. I probably we don't. Should. We don't know who she is. I watched the first two episodes. I didn't uh, know who she was. It, I, I had no it, idea. It's so minor. It, you'll mm, be alright. But is it? <laughs> all, is it? Yes, it's minor right now at this moment. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, spoil That's king over here. Look, so excited. So <laughs> I'm just saying. I love. I do love this story. Like I'm reading the manual. Like I'm going to read this manual. Uh, I'm all the way up in the almost 200, uh, like 178. And it, like I said, this story is going to pick up really crazy. But as far as the first two episodes, I do think that for somebody unlike myself who has read it or anybody has read it, it does seem like a little more on the B minus to C plus side. Y'all just I promise you, I just want y'all to watch him beat the first bully. Watch him beat Paco and then decide from there. I can't I'm not even go I be mean, if you if you can stomach it, it might be a little like not what you like. But if y'all could just at least watch this man get his first win and see if that'll win you over. I will well, assume me, that will be done in the next two. If you get to there, you will be won over. I I, I can attest. All right, all right, Dub. I was about to bring Dub in. Dub, how you feeling about Bower Hat? Have you seen the first two episodes? I mean, I'm sure you probably yeah. read read ahead of the class with 
with Coop Doggy Dog over there. But you watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I no. love it. I love Absolutely it. not. No. <laughs> yes, I, as I said, Coop kidnapped me. Helmet, helmet at gunpoint made me. He bullied me into watching viral hit. I am not and, one of these villains. I was planet. so <laughs> glad, so glad he did. Y'all, he put the little I, eyeball things on you so you couldn't close your eyes. Little, right, like yep. like Mojo wears. Oh mm-hmm. no, man. And it, it, but but it, but it's all good because uh, he he is he's absolutely right. I, y'all, I I, I got to give it to my partner, man. He he recommends stuff. He. He 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 has a very high batting percentage, like Frank Thomas. He'll hit he'll hit everything. Oh wow, I'm the but, big hurt. But hey, but he be smacking out. he be smacking stuff out the park, man. To be fair, and I'll, I'll, is that. I'll take the blame for undead unluck. So I'm about you know one you know I miss miss one or two. Hey, hey yeah, man, that, you know, that wasn't your fault. Undead unluck had a good like five or six episodes. It started so started. good, man. But like, we, it it really got me. But let's in. not go deep into it. It just it stopped. Yeah. It stopped like we stopped, but but yeah, man, I gave up on that. I gave up on Undead and I gave up on Metallic Rouge. Damn, uh, you gave up on Metallic Rouge. I got, I, I felt like it was going to be good, it I was just, cool, but I mean, Shorty was kind of a sellout to her own people, and I was just like, man, I ain't watching this mess. Okay, shout out to the opening, uh, opening, <laughs> uh, music though, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's one that. Yeah, I had to drop that too for some reason. I just couldn't get into oh, it. Man. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I, 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 I circle back, back around when I'm like bored. Mm-hmm. Metallic Rouge is one of those. And for those who watch Adult Swim, yeah, I'm visually. Gonna, I, it's beautiful visually. You know what it reminds me of in this vibe, just from a little bit. Wolf's Rain. Not of mm. one you would recommend to like a to like a, a to to people who just get into anime. But like, okay, y'all know how it is when you come home when you in your twenties, and Wolf Reigns is on. It usually was like three or four in the morning. You've been partying, you've been drinking, you've been doing something else. But you like, you know what? I can't sleep. I like anime. What's going on, Adult Swim? And you see this kind of uberly great looking, but kind of depressing story. It gives off that vibe. So it's very mature, whatever. But you know, I'm gonna go back and watch Metallic Roots because it's only like what twelve episodes. Yeah, because I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate the show. It's just that when they were going through the revolution, I was expecting like Rouge to be down, and she seemed like she was trying to straddle the fence on some like, she was like, sort of like cooning. I was like, bro, I can't. Uh, uh-uh, no, we ain't going. No, you got to stand with the people. You got you to stand with the people. It's about the revolution, girl. Like, what you talking about? Welcome to Japan. I mean, you know, she had her orders from the beginning, and she probably mm. didn't break them. So. Mm. Maybe we'll see in season two what happens. But uh, I'll say this on viral hit. I like it. Okay. I'm going to stick around. Cause yeah, stick with the next now first bullet, bro. Now, is this thing going to take over Jujutsu Kaisen? Or di- no. But All right. Nobody has, says a big boy. But it has taken the slot of Undead Unluck. Easily. 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 Um, Thank you. Thank because you. Because I know one thing. If someone say you the reason your mama got cancer, it's a fight. That's it. Thank you. That's it. On and site, it brought, son. I gotta fight you. It's, it brought it's that, not even. It's not even right. It, it brought that like, fight. I in have them. to fight you. Like you know, and I know some people. For one, I you know, I look at some professional reviewers, and everybody was like, "I hate Hobbit. I don't like him. I'll do that." Look, man, I'm easy, y'all. Look, I root for the underdog. I root for people who've been picked on, yeah, and I like to do? see. What he do, bro? He just existed. Those are the people who probably would rather like like Paco. And like I want Paco to be good because he's a, he's a blah, blah, blah. trust me. I'm nah. just gonna spoil spoiler. Pa- nothing good comes of Paco. He gets what he deserves. I will say one I thing: promise. watching this is kind of like watching Office Space to a certain degree at the beginning. It is. It You're gets- like, man. I remember high school. Ooh, boy. Shouts out to everybody whose first job was Burger King. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to y'all. You know, but this this was show. Rough. Like I think it's. I don't think they. I gotta check back. But at first, they didn't ini- make an initial announcement of episodes. I think if they do thirteen, we're gonna get a good chunk of season one of the Manwa. Maybe they can get it all in, or or if they do twenty twenty six, you gonna see a lot happen. But where I'm proud of Hobbin. Like Hobbin, Hobbin is just a sixteen seventeen year old kid. He's goofy and he ain't cool. never had. What 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 did I say about? Hobbin after after I watched the series. Do you remember? 
Nah, what you said exactly? I I said he he's one of us. Like, you know, bro, he, he's a, man, he he's 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 a kid. He's a, he's a nice enough kid who nobody bothered to get to know because he's quiet. He's going through stuff. They picked on him. Bro, he, here's the truth of it. When he when he stand up for himself, it he's, it's a, it's life changing. He's quiet yeah. because he's working several jobs. To pay his mom hospital bill, right. who was up there laid up waiting for a transplant, you know, for something, and she has I, cancer. Unfortunately, too many. I, I guess it, too many of us can, if if we haven't experienced it, we witnessed kids just uh, can be cruel for no reason. Like you right. can, you can really be going through something, and uh, and kids will just be super duper extra cruel to you because you're going through something. Yeah, but I will and, say this. It, you know, I I think it it just appeals to me because he 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 stands up for himself and and it's life changing and in a way that he he's like you know what I want I want to do some more of that and so, and it it really a hey, so where we I, at? I don't know I I guess I I've seen kids get bullied yeah uh, I, I've had folks try to bully me I don't I don't bully well so. I as, fight. <laughs> as far as the but story, it, hey, yeah, Mark is it's right. A, it's like, a beautiful thing. He's at the point where, like I say, he's about to really learn some stuff. And I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm saying he's going to learn some. Like, it's no spoiler. He's going to train himself. And he's going to get better. He, he has that to online Mr. Miyagi right now. Like, so he's going to be all right. Well, uh, Chicken Head, Chicken Son, or S S uh, what's his name? Sam Dad. Sam Dad. Sam, Sam Dad. Dad. And bruh, I'm just saying, if they ever can, if they get to adapt all of this story, whew, I'm telling you, you, you remember how I talked about get school? Like, I don't even know if they can get school is, is more way more brutal because it's brutal from the jump. Like, it's, like people almost get murdered, like in ep, like the first chapter or two. Oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get into that. The East Side High. I'm going to have to get into that. Oh, they're both yeah. about. Well, yeah, no, this is. Hey, that's super duper East Side this, High. Actually, that's Get funny. School is like a whole district of gets of, of East Side Highs with more government government corruption slapped on top of it with hey, other hey, conspiracies. Mike, it's not fair, East Side. It's far East Side. Oh. This, <laughs> but uh, I'll say this. Get <laughs> School starts out just as, a, as you know, get better, take revenge on your bullies. It's gonna cross that path we get school down the line <laughs> but that's all i'm gonna say but enjoy this first season see somebody take stand up to their bullies watch him get better and he's going to train and you know you're gonna learn you know he's gonna learn some things and he's gonna show it to the world because he ain't gonna play that by his mama all right, right. and he need to make that money that's you know, what i'm talking about he's like no he's like jim woo without the uh superpowers <laughs> Yo, you gotta you gotta level up, man. You gotta level up. You gotta be strong. You know, so that's that's one that I am taking a liking to. Uh do you wanna want me to keep going or do anybody else? Yeah, uh in? what else what else you been up uh watching? Okay, this one. Shout out to Rachel. She did this. Watch two episodes of Windbreaker. Uh we are we kinda talked about see episode two. one. Episode two is out? I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, man. I keep yeah. 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 I keep my schedule when I say I'm gonna review it. We go a week by week, baby. <laughs> yeah, but I I checked I checked today. I I need to I need a fresher source then. Oh, I, what you got? Because I, I got checked Kel today and I only saw episode one, so I need I need a fresher source. Somewhere. I got Fine. I got Cam Vision, Mark, yeah. Mike. Camp Vision don't count. Camp Vision isn't a Camp Vision available to everybody. is his old universe. That's, that's like that's like you shouting out a restaurant that's only in Baton Rouge. They don't count. I can't go there. Or Atlanta. Or no, or getting into Atlanta, uh, Atlanta restaurant because that's impossible apparently. <laughs> Unless you keep Keith Lee. Shout out to Atlanta. I'm sorry, I got to take digs on y'all for that. No, uh, I'm taking back the shout out to Atlanta. To y'all, prove yourselves worthy of the real everyday working black person. Ain't nobody thinking about y'all. <laughs> I am never you know going to eat there. I don't, I'm never like bougie black people I'm and i ain't gonna stop i'm going at Atlanta in like two weeks oh. hey no 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 look no straight up look it's okay look bougie has got his problems but if you're gonna be bougie at least know how to bougie if you're gonna do it, be bougie be good at what you do mm -hmm. all right be be worthy to call yourself bougie new orleans can be very bougie with his food but guess what they actually don't want you to eat food 
and have a good they time. They actually serve you. They don't just force they people to serve wait. You. They don't. Bruh. They don't create forced exclusivity for any reason. I mean, bro, there's no reason to be waiting two and a half hours to eat somewhere. Stop side it. note to the side note. While I'm getting to before I get to it, Breaker. Y'all ever heard of Brennan's? I know Mark. You heard of Brennan's? Rachel, have you heard of Brennan's restaurant? Mm-hmm. Brennan's is world famous. The place that invented uh, bananas, Foster. Them people, first of all, you really kind of like need to dress up a little bit to go in there. But when you go in there, I've seen about four or five YouTube channels. Guess what they going to do? They all going to serve you. Now, it t- probably take a little while to get in there, but you're going to have a table. They're going to talk to you while the restaurant is in it. They're going to tell you the, the world famous story of the Bananas Foster. They will give you a tour. And then if you somebody of note, they're going to throw in a little bit because they want you to come back. And they will like record all of this. And we're going to show you a good time. Like, it gets nines and tens on service. Mm. Regardless if you like the dessert or not. Nobody ever say nothing about no service. And Brennan's is more important than all them show, all them channels. I mean, all the restaurants that Keith Lee had to, had to kind of trick his way into. Because he Keith Lee. I promise mm-hmm. you, Brennan's been there for I don't know how long. It's going to be there 100 years after. Whatever the hell they do in the <laughs> But anyway, mm-hmm. so speaking of people to tra- to transition and to not looking down on people, Sakura or whatever you want to call them for Windbreaker, telling you this is a season of not looking down on people. This is that cat, the year of Cat Williams. Quit looking down on people when Man. they crush you in your skull. You gonna find I, I out the wrong you, way. Windbreaker I, could very easily be re- called rib breaker or a jaw breaker. Cause so, Sakura, Sakura got hands hang. He got mm-hmm. hands. I love that there's a character that is has been labeled as the villain and the cast off, you know, the outcast. But even though he has every right to be bitter and vindictive and just to literally turn into the villain, deep down he still wants to be a hero. Like this is really parallel um knowledge of me. It's just like his upbringing was just rough. You know, everybody did one fool with him. They he gave off bad vibes, but he was like, "I'm gonna be strong, and I'm gonna make people like look up to me, and I'm gonna be a hero." Like that's my dream, and I just love that about it. I love that he 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 gets he blushes when people yes. compliment and want to do something. Like I love that. I love that he isn't so jaded by his upbringing that he he wants that. He wants to be a connection. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's funny. Him. I don't. I he wants it, but he doesn't even know he wants it. Well, like, and it's, I think it's dope that the people in the city they showing him so much love, and he, like, like you said, he's blushing. He, he, he's like, what is this? This is me. I'm not getting rejected for being different. I'm, I'm being celebrated for, for being how I am. For being himself what they call him is a male suitoray i guess because he's like you know of two minds he really wants to be loved but he's like you say he's so rough around the edges because people just look at like oh you got two eyes two different color eyes you got weird color hair you stand out blah 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 but then i loved at the end of episode one after he did he whooped about 30 scrubs until <laughs> when breaker windbreaker came and saved you know saved him because he he was so heroic I love that the end where he started to like, you know, well up and people thought I thought he was gonna run away. That boy got a running dragon kick into somebody. Oh, it was one left. Ha! Be a oh, I could be a hero here? Yeah. Yo, homie hung he in, the in the air for face. a minute on that joint. I was like, dang, he jumped over the crowd and kicked that boy in the, like if your hero is starting out at level one like this, I know he's you know he gotta get more skills, but man. He was skills. already mad nice. But episode two. You know what I love about episode? Well, I don't love and don't ep- love about episode two. We met the Takamichi of the group. God, he's he's, and I hate to say it, even him as a wimp is he at least got more swag than Takamichi. I know they they on the old nineties uh, pompadour wearing uh, you know, thugs. <laughs> Tokyo Revengers, but I had to drop it because I can't stand Takamichi. Hopefully the, the Takamichi. I'll, I'll learn his name next time, but the boy with the glasses. But he wanted to be, you know, he wants to do the same thing. He just ain't got no hands. But he's like the nerdy, of, nerdy one of the group. But he didn't quit. He like, you know. And I love how soccer and I look. Sometimes you go drop tears, but soccer is so so hard. He's like, look, man, 
I'm with you, bro, but don't be no crybaby out here, bro. Like, tighten up, man. Come on. Let's go to school. I was just talking about <laughs> all the potential cosplays that are being brought out in the characters. I just cannot wait. When I saw the, the pool of classmates and the boys oh, yeah. and different styles and personalities, I'm like, yes. I feel it's like you... Life. The next dude he about to fight, the dude who, who come in there gruff at the end of episode two, I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you or Ninja. With the, the dude got the long hair. You know, he got the... He, what, you, what you call him? He looks like... What's his name that everybody loved from Tokyo, Tokyo Revengers with the long hair? Uh, Baji. Baji. He kind of got the Baji look. I know I know a lot of women love Baji out there. You know, Baji was out there living wild and fighting. Had a little bit of honor with him. And then, you know, he had his... Heroic well, death. That's, that's what it is. It's that hair tie. It's all about that hair tie. When you see a guy, it's all that hair bag. It's like, yeah, yeah. Y'all. It's something about it. Mike, Mark, I'm telling you, when you go to cards and you see women who like the Tokyo Revenge, I'm telling you, I, I can pick up on it. I'm like, all right, I know what you feel. love the villains. I know what y'all, what vibe y'all picking up on. Because I remember one dude in Lake Charles. He had the bodge He had the white Tim's. He had some white Tim. He had the white boots. He was clean. He had the white the jacket, everything. Had the wig, everything. He was on point. I said, all right, man. You bodge you. You're like, yo. I said, okay. I said, you, I know what you man, look you going had for. The white Tim's, though. Bro, he, had the, he had it down to the boots. Mm. I'm telling you. He had to look down with his own style with it. It's so, just on the back. It's on the back the... The delinquents, you, you gotta love them, but I think we're really gonna love the delinquents and we're breaking because I mean, and honestly, that's I what love they're here for. I they're, do love the uniform though. I love the little trim, the little gold trim around the neck and the, and the arm nice. and the hand. Like it's it don't look, nice. and then they don't button it up. They loose with it. They like oh boy, like the Chinese dude. You mean like? I guess he Chinese is like, look, I'm such and such. And he was joking, but he got his little ass, you know, got his little traditional garb on his little windbreaker uniform. He like, look, I'm gonna represent my country, my heritage. Right. I'm still gonna I be love out that here. Everybody has their own unique. You know, that was the one thing in Tokyo Revengers. I mean, outside of unless you were one of the higher up, like everybody's outfits literally look the same. But I like how. Here, even with uniforms, just much like uniforms today, of uh, schools that have uniforms, people can put their own twist on it to, to bring out your personality. And I like that everybody has their own twist and personality with their fit. So I can't like, wait to see more characters we get. I'm so excited. Just through two episodes, and for what you know, Tokyo yeah. Ridges, who uniforms you like better, Windbreaker or Tokyo Revengers? Windbreaker. Because I like mm. the, the swag that they're... It's, it's, it's swag. It is more swaggy. It, it, it got more style. Yeah, you got... It's very versatile. So I'm feeling it. Look, and it, it just got that... It got that, that more modern day feel. I mean, I know the other one is a timepiece. But thank God we ain't got to worry about no slight isekai time travel stuff and a hero that can fight. Like, the main mm. dude can fight. Thank, like, you know, and look, I get it, man. It's ain't got to be, you know, number one. Deku couldn't fight, first of all, but Deku had heart, crybaby or not. He had heart and he wasn't stupid. True that. So, Takamichi, one day I, I one day I want to put my arms around you and finish your series. But then again, Calvin told me, don't do it. And he, I already he already told me, you'd be wasting your time. And he told me why I think I would be. Windbreaker, you're my new delinquent friend. You know, let's go fight gangs together like it's Double Dragon. <laughs> Have fun. Because... God, if you're a delinquent show, it got to be some fun with it before. Hey, and I'm going to tell you, like Sakura, Sakura be throwing them things, boy. I, ooh, ooh. I mean, and, and the the windbreakers, they they all got hands, too. So Yeah, <laughs> ain't none of them whack. It right, was cool. It, like, they pulled up on the screen. And they was like, it's, 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 it's only like 19 of them. Like, it's, it's way less than I thought was out here. Like two of us would have done. Well, they, see, actually though, those are just the established members. The class he go to are like the new member. I think more of the new people. So Wimberg, Wimberg ain't small out here either. But they so t they so dope. They don't need three hundred scrubs. Right. They they, <laughs> they they looked. They was like, man, two of us could have taken care of this. That <laughs> man. And I, I'm a, I'm gonna say this. If I'm if I'm with my people, 
And they got two dudes. They got four dudes that look at us and be like, man, we only needed two of us to deal with them. Bruh. I'd be like, all of us? Once all a us rookie, too? a dude who say, <laughs> hey, dude, man. you ain't recognized. Whoop, your whole team. And y'all still could, like, some of y'all just need to quit. In fact, shout out to I'm Kevin on YouTube. I look, I've, he's, I started following him this year. Uh, he broke down the the first big fight with Sakura, smashing all them them losers. Uh, he's doing it in slow motion. Oh, watch it! It's worth it. He he bre- He's like he giving an NBA play by play commentary. It is so good. Bruh, <laughs> it was it won't even write. They came in. They were like, homie was like, look. Thanks for they, thanks for they, thanks for holding everything like down. We they, got it from here. They look like they could fight. They just look. They look like they could fight. Like he could fight. Yeah. Like they was coming. They was throwing some mean little haymakers. He was moving out of the way. And he was like return fire. <laughs> so so for me, episode one already is like a good strong solid eight. Yeah, episode two they dropped the energy down. It's like a seven, but I know it's gonna pick right back up. Like I just I right, like all right, you get a good like introduction. Hey, my name is blah blah blah. Let's fight. I you know it's coming. So we got twelve more episodes. So I'm sure you about to pick up ridiculously. Word up, word up. All right, what else? What else you been up on? I got one more, man. Uh, since I haven't did Kaiju Eight, we all did it already. But this, I'm gonna love this way. And Mike, I heard you talk about it. Go go, loser ranger. I love it. I love it. Oh yeah. It it. it Bro, just whatever the mystery. First of all, here now it's gonna be violent. First of all, a lot of people was confused because they didn't know if they was gonna be joking, ha ha ha. Like that was just for show. Like that was just to how they make money on a consistently weekly basis. That was going to an NBA game. That was going to a concert. But then to start killing it to the inner workings, mm-hmm. and then to see how Red Keeper is. Oh, he got the face of an angel, but his soul is rotten. And I get it. They saved the world, but there's something violent and vicious when you not only you like, oh, we are we got a truce, blah blah blah. Then as soon as somebody deviate, quote unquote, from the truce you made, made them do, then you come down to their cave, you know, as kind of says they the dusters. First of all, shout out to the dusters. I love their outfit. If I cosplay, I would love, I would wear that. In fact, I got a duster shirt in the store. Check it out. Um I love the look, but at the same time, yeah, these are, you know, alien invaders, but man, you done beat the fight out of them. Either you need to have, I hate to say it, kill them, or you need to maybe let them go. I don't know if you can let them go, but this is just particularly disgusting. And they're starting to yeah. learn about honor. They're starting to realize, like, I, and I know it's kind of goofy that they have lost 13 years, but now they're starting to realize that the fight really, like, this, this is a terrible existence. Or maybe they just went through like a Stockholm syndrome. There's some of that. They're like, hey, I gotta make my life happy. Cause otherwise this is miserable. If Fighter D just just um uh, I don't know what name he changed himself to in his human form, but Fighter D will will learn his real name, but or the reject Ranger, if you will. Or loser rank aka loser ranger. You know, D's out there living his I wouldn't say best life, but he's trying to be recruited. I love the first two episodes. So go watch episode one if you haven't watched it now. But two, I'm glad that they didn't drag it out. That old girl knew that he was a duster. Um, and she just looked, gave him that look like, how long you go play this game, bro? Like, I, you playing the game raw. <clears throat> I appreciate what you want to do, but you don't know what the hell you're doing. So it's kind of like trading day. Like, hey, let's work together. Like, come to like, you're under my care and you're coming to the yellow, the yellow station, you know, but the red station so now that we got a little more in the work in that like we met the crazy understudy and he's like oh i'm gonna be the future red uh dragon keeper red keeper he ain't he's completely worthless like he yeah, looks he crazy like he's like he's like he's gonna shoot kids when he get to see so i don't know so my thing is if the rangers aren't that old and they got all these understudies whatever what is red's real plan See, somebody who has an army and they know and he already got his handpicked successor and he's not like an old man. See, what is his future position that he wants? Is it world domination? Is it something mm-hmm. bigger? And they already work with the police. So you already know the police cannot handle them. So basically, nah. we 
they probably not gonna touch on this, but the world government, or at least Japan, bow down to them. And this is all a corrupt system that they get to control to their liking and for their benefit to make themselves look good. And, and I kind of wonder, I kind of wonder how many people know. I got a feeling that anybody who do know is either have been coerced or they don't care. But at the same time, what's more devious, coercing people or making people do the dirty work for you? They already they already won. Like it's like in the boys, they got public opinion. They yeah. don't have to do anything. They won. They beat the worst. They beat these gigantic whatever monsters, whatever, and demolished them after a year. But I don't think nobody. They beat the main people, but I think Amer the people don't know exactly per se. Even though you should better figure out if you have if you can go to a Sunday show, how bad can this? fight be if they can actually sell you tickets and you go sit them see them fight in an actual arena that should be the first thing but i guess when you're on the winning side and it feels good people fall into what they you know it feels good to them you know what i'm saying yeah. it's entertaining you know you yeah, kind of feel like they put, they're kind of poking fun at I, want to be on the winning side. I was just about to say Pro wrestling is, is all yeah, the like pro wrestling or like bullfighting or something like that. Like yeah, yeah, definitely like bullfighting. Like you tame the monster, hey, we captured him. We're gonna torture you, and we're gonna do it in inhumanely, and we're gonna make money off it. We're gonna be loved forever off your backs. And guess what? You're immortal, so you gotta take it. And how dare you? And they don't even let them live good. Like it could, it would be different if we went to their like their space or whatever, and it was like a lounge and relaxing couches and stuff. They're in a cave. They're just I in mean, a cave. They ain't got no, they ain't got no fresh meals or beds or nothing. Or I'll say this: hours. Like I'm like, yo, I mean, all they have is a radio. They don't even have like a flat screen, no cable. Yeah, yeah. nothing. Like all they got is like a radio. Because I, could, I could see like, I right, look, y'all check it. To keep the people happy and make they make them think that we somebody, we gonna have to beat y'all up every every week. But check it, look, we gonna sit y'all up in here. Y'all gonna have room service and stuff, ice cream sundays, whatever y'all want. You know, what I'm saying nice showers, the showers with the two showers on each side, so you like in a waterfall of, of hot water and stuff. You gonna have now, nice stuff, all right? Can I but on Sunday, you just gotta get beat up. Now, can I attest to why they probably didn't do that? Just because since it's a homage to like. Super, I know it, it is messed up, but I guess the fun part of it, it does kind of remind you of Common Rider, of the people, the bad guys, and they used to look be in them cavernous place. They always oh, used to be yeah. in some cavern, so it's like a little, it's like a little jokey joke, but it is, it does suck. Like they probably, I ain't gonna say they don't mind. They're monsters, and they like, ah, we can do this. Well, we, Duster, uh, Duster D, I've been using Duster D because, you know what I'm saying, got the alliteration. But anyway, <laughs> Duster D, even when he was eating that steak or whatever, he was like, we don't get food like this. Yeah, he's starting to learn real quick. Like, oh, I can. It didn't win me in episode two. He changed the old boy face. He's like, yep. let me see that picture. All right. I can eat better. I can eat better just by showing by being famous and being treated good. So, you know what? Let me see how this life is and let me see if I can do this. Now, yeah, of course, I like seeing him win. Yeah, like, well, he gonna have to he, he about to win, but he really gonna have to pull off this mission that he's giving himself. Hey, I give him credit for having the guts to do it. He just don't know how, but Yellow has or one of the Yellow Keeper cadets who's in science. Aha, so she knows some things. So she's in the science department. She's gonna probably help him get powered up where he can actually fight yeah. become a ranger and then to turn the tides because she did say that she has like pretty much like her own autonomy she doesn't have anybody like really watching her so that means she's you know it's the base it's kind of like common rider because the idiots and common the bad guys they pretty much made common rider then he's the thing that beats them up you know so it is kind of it kind of tracks with that and with other super sentai with them you know fighting so i i look i love that anime can do super sentai and then de deconstruct it i even watched one it was like a slice of life where the bad the bad uh per the bad girl who was like the leader of the bad army was in love with the red ranger uh what was that one love from another world or something. oh destruction i know what you're talking about yeah that was and i, 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 was wild. I love that show. i love that one and that I was a that. fun deconstruction 
they also had dope suits uh uh the, the little putties if you will and i love that her dad was a was like a, a scrub and she she wound up moving up in the army that was funny but uh it, I, I, I feel I, like if, if if we were ever given in the real world like these type of heroes like or if they were just a random sports team or a random inter- real world entertainment i really do think that is how we in this time would treat it it would be a spectacle it would be Absolutely. oh sunday you gotta get tickets to see them battle see what they're gonna get into next so like you like, know it, it like, would be it would be like how the nascars have all these stickers and sponsors and stuff like it but they got them all on a on a cape and, and on a on okay. jacket like, i mean it would yeah. it would be like that i think we would we would treat it we were treated just the same. The gladiator arenas did exist where people were fighting lions, bears, and tigers and each other to death. So it did happen. Yeah. I mean, so, and UFC ain't far from it. I mean, I know it's way, way far from it, but you do get your head kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> and I was, I always thought if we had like superheroes and stuff like that for real, it would be similar to like these movies when like you kicking it and all of a sudden, you're like, hey man, is it like it's is it an eclipse today? And it's like, no, it's just a spaceship up in there. And then all of a sudden, like these people show up and start fighting, and like cities blowing up, cars are getting torn over, half the building torn down. And it's like, yo, like ten thousand people are dead, and, but hey, at least we stopped the invasion. Like, I, you know, I'm sorry, guys, but I mean, hey, you're safe. I mean, the rest of y'all are sort of. I mean, just take out superheroes and add the government and any other natural disaster katrina the baton rouge flood uh these bridges that got destroyed other things infrastructure other stuff we ain't far off from it <laughs> you know just you know yeah, oh yeah we yeah. saved the day but you know look how many people had to go or we could have prevented this but we didn't spend the money there and it's just like uh so i'm all in because yeah. it's I want to. I want to see if he can do it. Yeah, I do. I root for. I root for Dusty D or Fighter D or, you know, Reject Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Especially funny, since he like, got help now. He he had to like it. It was funny. He he was working out, trying to get in shape. Like, well, trying to qualify, <laughs> and like, just doing that, he was like, it is kicking my tail. Like, he he almost ain't make it. But we do know that I like there are. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I'm just saying. Oh. I like. I, I know he's gonna get stronger. Yeah. He cause... like he he's got to work to get stronger, even in this. Well, mm. he he got to work, but I think the divine artifacts. I think he gonna get his hand on one. If he can kill them and they immortal, even though they're not powerful, what can they do to an actual dragon keeper? If you turn mm. the tides on them, I just know Ray probably gonna be one of the final bosses. Yeah, if he ain't the final boss, I bet you go in this order. I bet you either green, I think green is go green or blue gonna be the second right man. Green, don't you can't even see his face, his lip, his mouth, so he must be really insane. Like he don't even want to show you his human face. Yeah. So I think green and green is the super strong one. And one, I mean, with, with, with razor sharp teeth. Like, yeah, I can just see green being insane. Like, and did they have a black one, or is he going? I think he becomes black. I think Dusty D becomes the black, the black version. Ah, uh, okay. Which makes sense because his his whole color scheme says, "I'll be the black dragon keeper." Like it the 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 way they set it up, I'm just I'm hooked. I want to see I want to see him succeed. I figure by the end of this season, they'll he'll take down one keeper, at least. And or then maybe. he'll probably be the one to replace that keeper, I assume. And we got eleven more to go this season. So we'll we'll see, man. We'll see. So um, that's all I've been watching, of course, other than Ninja Comedy, but I know we'll get to that, whoever brings it up. Well, I was gonna throw it to Dub, because I know we coming around coming up to time. Dub, you got you got some well, Ninja well, Comedy well, talk for us? Oh, is it time? It. Is it time? I mean, I dub this on you, Ninja Combo. Where you at, man? It's the only way. Now, Dub, you know you gotta lead it off and lead us off in song. <laughs> These demons in my head. 
<laughs> Bitches is the only way. Like, that's right. I, that's you I sound so more painful each I week. Watch it. <laughs> man, it's, 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 the, it's the struggle Ooh. in there, man. It's the pain. It's the struggle. Deacon Dub with the soul, with the spiritual. <laughs> the week. That's right, man. So anyway, Dub, how you, how you feeling about uh about, about Ninja Combo? Well, you know, this episode we 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 dealing with um I don't know. Mike is becoming more and more of a man because I because I think Mike has a bigger personality <laughs> than um than the lead. Um, yeah, we we need him in there sort of as the kind of like the the emotional you know foundation. Yeah, um, our boy is the, the ep, our boy is set to to fight his 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 homeboy. We we'll get a little bit of his backstory and see why he's such a sucker. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's what's his name? Zip. Uh, oh, Zai. Zai. I'm making stuff up. <laughs> that was Zip. <laughs> zip, Jewy. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where I got any of that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he was, I don't know, man. He was on some lightweight uh, catfish uh, in a in a coat sucker stuff. But, I mean, he, or, he, he, he came up on it, too. Oh, I you can know, just he, say this. Cause I don't, I don't know if people understand that he, <laughs> he was, he was, he's so hurt because his family. I mean, he was hurt from the beginning because yeah. that was his newfound family. They left him, had a baby together, and he just like, I trust you people, and blah 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 blah. I only like crows and fighting in my own strength. I'm like, okay, yeah, he twisted. Like, I see where this is going. He got all that. Yeah. He's like Sa- Sasuke got that Sasuke energy, and maybe a little just more twisted in the mind. I mean, because he he was abused since he was a child, and I mean, right? Fact, you know, the fact you that, know what I I look I look at how he was raised, and I was like, he is it, that is exactly why Yamaji is so able to to manipulate and push him. He, you ain't got to push hard because he was he, he was just abused. So like you I said, mean, his found family, they left, they violated the rules, and he 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 he's big on that. Yeah, they violated the rules, and and he's like, and you got to pay. And I mean, it kind of broke his heart and, a little I mean, bit too. It absolutely broke his heart because he said, "Hey, if y'all if y'all gonna leave, you need to kill me now." Like he would have rather had them kill him than to just walk away. That's how hurt he was. He like kind of his family, you know what I'm saying? They were his family. Like, and then not only his family, but he gun is the only person who can match him. So he like he's the only person he love and respect. Even if it's not love, it's absolute respect. Mm-hmm. You know. And then I guess you could say, uh, what's her name? His the gun's wife. Um, what's her name? Uh, oh, Mari. Mari. That's probably like his big sister or like his sister is just like you know she 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 t- like both of them don't really have emotional intelligence to talk and mari kind of do the talking for both of them so she was that bridge for them and to know how they really felt because she was like look you know you you need a family and look we out here to help you man you ain't gotta be like i'm gonna be a one-man army i'm gonna take on this whole brigade by myself like yeah bro you bleeding like we go get cut up. Like we are on the same team, bro. We are in the same ninja clan until you know Amaji and them did what they did, and then they like we got to bounce. Like, look, bro, we broke the rules. We got a baby on the way, and we don't agree with this fool. I mean, I'm shocked they didn't say, "Won't you come with us?" And won't you leave? Blah blah blah. But they, I guess, they knew that Zai is all in. Like they didn't even try to like convince him. So. I, I guess you just know what you was dealing with. And we all know that it had to be the Reaper that's that's coming to it. First of all, this episode, you know what I love? Of course, besides Mike doing his thing. Yeah. I love that they fought each other so hard. They broke their suits off. Now we about to get into the real yep. essence of being a ninja. Next episode, they about to break out the hand slides. They about to go nuts with the Naruto of it all. <laughs> you know, it's about to get bloody, ugly, and 
I think we about to have a classic on our hands. And if not, it's going to be damn stylish if it's a classic or not. But also, shout out to hey, Mike. Even though we, even though uh, Fade, or if, was it D? What was his name? Uh, Big D. <laughs> yeah, even though D I can't is remember. gone. It was, it was D, like Big D or something like that. Big yeah, D. I just, I'm just calling him D. Even though D is gone, this fight is going to be elegant. Oh, shout yeah. out to D. But, uh, I, you know, and I don't miss Little one bit. I forgot all about him. Even his head been rolling for the past few weeks on the floor somewhere. Decompose. <laughs> I mean, he was great. He was a great villain. But I love that Mike did exact. Like, you know what I love about the show? They do exactly what we think they should do. He went up to his FBI boss like, look, bro. I'm talking to you one more time, boss. You my ex-partner. You my ex-partner, man. What's up, bro? What's up? Are you going to stop being a little punk out here? Are you going to help me? You gonna call this off, or you gonna be a hater? He chose to be a hater. Mike, you gonna mm-hmm. have to shoot your ex partner. That dude, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, bro, oh, it's like that, huh? All right, Mike, just like, I'm, I'm gonna roll out right now, Playboy. But when I see you again, it's up. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> hey, and, and you know what? When Uncle Mike says it's up, I believe it. I'm like, all right, I believe you got, it. You got one more chance to call this off. Call the FBI off on me. <laughs> I, hey, I don't kill hey, how many Mike, hours of hey, people. Mike was ha- Mike was handling that heavy hardware, man. Mike yeah, was handling yeah. them, them, Mike them dang um uh, dang Gatling guns and sh- Mike only took no game. off his trench coat one time, and that's when he was in the army near there. There, otherwise he got his trench coat on the whole time. Shooting with yeah, Mike like- is like. <laughs> Uncle Mike, one of them old school gangsters. He like, man, if I come out this trench coat, it's gonna be some, it's gonna be some mayhem. Bro, he's shooting rocket launches and killing <laughs> trained, trained mercenaries with ease. Like and he if you... know, he know he got the skills, so he ain't even really tripping when he go into a gunfight. He don't even be phased. Hey, yo, he can shoot too. Like he. Like he, he like look I'm, I'm surgical with this thing if I pull it out. <laughs> Mike was more sweaty and nervous about Emma dating her god than him getting shoot be getting shot at. <laughs> Shout out to Emma, man. Shout out to Emma, man. I still agree. Why didn't they not take oh boy? At least old boy wasn't as annoying. But he what good I, mean, I know he gonna come through because this is like an action movie. He gonna eventually crack the code. He, he gonna but have to. He better. But at the same time, it will. Why? Why? I, y'all, new like you know what, writers, you know what? Sometimes you really do, really gotta listen to the women folk. Listen strongly. A double for EJ ain't never needed. If you're gonna kill the wife and the reason, motivation for the main character, don't kill the dope sidekick, other who's a ninja slash hacker, this and that, and got personality to boot. Come on. Yeah, we should have never lost them, my man. Should have never lost them. But Even man, you, had- you know what? It's a and I understand with this show, it's gonna be a lot of death. But she was a character I I, I wish they had kept around. Shout out to Emma, man. That, or do like I, the I love stories. Ninja Kamui, man. Just I, have- I have been I have been singing its praises to uh, people trying to bring them into the fold. Like you too should be watching Ninja Kamui. And we Won't only you got come? Mm-hmm. We only got. Won't you come? Ask episodes. your neighbor if they need help. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Oh boy! <laughs> and I love that Mike still wanted. He's like, man, we want to take her to a hometown. Blah blah blah. And, you know, a gun. Like, there is no hometown, man. Like, we have given her pa- good passage to the other side. Hey, you hey yeah. You know what, man? When when he when when he gone said that that hurt me because. I, yeah. I I felt Mike. Mike wanted to bury her the right way. This what I want. Mm-hmm. If, if I like, know if I can't like get his it, daughter. After after Uncle Mike and them, after they win, and after Mike shoot the FBI director or whatever he is in the head, and take over his uh, you know, get clear his name. I want to see Mike bringing a tombstone back to the. Desert. I want him, I know I want him to probably go, ain't gonna yeah. happen, but maybe it might. They can do another stuff like that he, they he, want. He, yeah, he said, because that, that's like his daughter, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's his daughter. I, I got a feeling when, when all said and done, she going to be buried the right way. I think you just, you you keep her there, 
because there is nowhere else to don't move the body like you know i, I respect what her is saying but come bring a tombstone so that she can always be looked upon and remembered the right way so that she doesn't just become, you know leave her there bring a tombstone and you and you take care of it because she deserved it you know especially if they beat this and Al's is just losing his mind I'm glad he can't get his way yet now eventually he gonna probably get his way and he gonna convince the, the other you know crooked white dude who runs some government thing who know the answer he already want to help him but he's just like oh, I don't look good in the public so sometimes folks y'all I work for the government to well, you know Bruh, on a previous a, he threw that fit and it, it reminded me of some of my bosses Bruh. <laughs> For y'all who ain't never worked for the government, this is how I work. Oh, it made me so mad. I used, I used to work in a more financial position. I ain't gonna say exactly, you know, for whatever reason. We don't, some of the answers that when somebody else gets it, it was already talked about weeks in advance to that letter is done. That's I mean, most people know this, but no decision generally with the government moves that fast unless it's really bad management. <laughs> There's no good management move that fast in the government because it's not built to move fast. But it does have to go through certain parties, whatever. So by the time people see it, it's already the answer's already known. So that's what that reminds me of. Be like, look, man, we want to do these things, but you know, you kind of look like a crook and you look unsafe. So can you get your house in order, Playboy? Then holler at us. You know, and I was just like, ah! <laughs> he just lost his mind. But if you notice something, Maji said something. His subordinate said, we already got the... Now, he said, it's not good, but he said, we do have the details on how to make production of the suit. Imaji might be up to be like, hey, bro, your time, we, your service is no longer leaded. Ah! Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't yo, know. I, the, I'm thinking his plan is, let me let Mr. Alza do a whole bunch of work, and right when he get to the finish line, click it. He gone, and I'ma just step up into this place, and the ninjas he, he run everything. He he don't he don't want uh he not he not privy to sharing that power with Alza. Bro, Umaji wants to rule the world. Alza think he gonna rule it, do it. Now it might be possible they just destroy each other, like how he put that bomb in D's suit. You never know. You know, neither one of them can be Coward. trusted. I mean. He ain't gonna be. He ain't gonna throw hands himself. I don't see him putting on a suit, doing it. But you never know. I mean, he, he is. He probably. Or he might put the slip on you, and pull a, a, a Tony Stark, and be like, "Aha! My suit's been recording all your moves. All I gotta do is press a button, and you dead, Playboy." Because you remember when Cap? You know. Side note. Remember in Civil War in the comic book? If anybody read it, uh, Tony Stark wore the hell out of uh, out of Cap, wore him out in that suit. He like, I already know right. your moves, bro. Uh, you can't do nothing. The suit know your moves. <laughs> I, I, I'm I not doing this. <laughs> the like, suit knows everything. Man. I done recorded all... Like, Tony Stark and Batman or some... You know, your, boy, look. They they watching you. You beating up a villain. They watching you. They beat their villain. They just like, uh-huh. All right, let me take some notes. That's, that's <laughs> like... It, it's so funny. <laughs> that reminds me... Uh, J.J. Reddick was doing this podcast and he was talking about Kobe being an insane worker. He said all those stories are true. He said they were at the Olympic trials and Kobe came and got him and was like, hey, uh, you want to put some shots up? And he was excited because like, yeah, Kobe wants to shoot with me. He said, but I realized very quickly into it, I'm shooting and he just kind of sitting and watching. He yes. was trying to watch how I was shooting and trying to pick up something. And take your move, like you know, people like JJ Reddick was good, but you know, you don't really think of him that much. Kobe is a was a Hall of Famer already. Go, golden there, still picking up any move that he can mm -hmm. to get better. He's it's it's it, it's just people like that. You know, Alza may not be now. Alza don't feel like he got it like that in him, but he is a genius. And yeah. he can, but he see, he's, those suits. he's already talked about his flaws and he's starting to crack. He's starting to crack. So, so somebody go get blown up again, if not everybody. He'd be like, oh, I ain't gonna get what I want. Hit the button. All them power plants gone. Oh, boy. 
I'm telling you, he probably got a red. He probably got that feature. You know they got that. What villain don't have that? Oh, y'all want me? All my stuff gonna blow up and it's gonna flood the city and it's gonna blow y'all up or something. And it's gonna poison the water yeah, supply you know, and the I, air. I was just trying to take over all the infrastructure on the planet anyway, so you know he already got his his claws, his roots in deep. So I mean, if his suits can blow up, I'm sure the power plants can blow up. Yeah. All right. Well, look. I know we've been we've been chilling and, and vibing for a minute, but I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it uh, to Coop. Uh, final thoughts. And where can the folks find you? Final thoughts, man. I'm really digging this season. Uh, shout out to Gamma again. Thank you for Windbreaker. I, I did not have it on my list until she said it. I am loving it. I love the style. I can't wait to see the cosplays. Like, it just looks dope. Like, you know, I love me a good delinquent thing. Again, shout out to Double Dragon because that's just basically what it is. You got to beat up people in games. They look <laughs> tough. Uh, go, go, loser Ranger. They built it up. They built it up right. I hope that it keeps that 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 momentum. The good thing is, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a short ride, so I think it's gonna be a short, tight ride. Uh, you know, it's gonna have some some dialogue and stuff to build it up. But I think with with D get that power, I think it's gonna be well worth it. It almost makes me want to start reading, but I'm gonna chill for a couple of more episodes. But if it's if it hits the mark, it's going on the reading list. Cause it's already out. I don't know if it's done or not, but you can find the books everywhere manga is sold. Cause I, y'all, that 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 really is some of Coop joy. Like when when Coop come across a story that's so good to him, he don't wanna uh he don't wanna just wait for the anime. Coop gonna start reading. Coop I tried to read. order it, but it, I couldn't put. I try to put it on the table. Like I do try to curate my table with the seasons. I couldn't get it. It was on mm. back order. I'm like, dang, it was supposed. To- I think it's coming now, but it's like ah, I'm doing anime events, and this is like one that people going to know. I think like people, it's kind of weird because I know like people got to play catch up, and I know a lot of people are getting into seasonal watch. It's kind of funny because Hulu and Disney don't really advertise their anime, so it's basically all the anime reviewers and people like what we're doing have to tell you how to bring bring it to your knowledge if you're not reading the book because i never heard the book until like i heard the videos on this a year ago when it got announced and the announcement really people were happy that like okay yeah this is made this is one of our favorites so i think it's going to translate well uh viral hit i guess i just stick with it y'all i know it's kind of cringy it's a little bit less cl- it's a little clunkier than the man walk. Y'all, I, I promise you it is gonna be good stick with it through the first it is bullet. gonna be good i like i I've watched the first two episodes. Uh, I like I like the adaptation of it, and I, it, the story is so good. It, I know we y- say y'all y'all gonna love Hobbin, man. I know we say three and out, but let's tr- let's give this like a video game treatment. Sometimes a game start off blah 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 until you beat that first boss and then you off to the races. <laughs> That's what this is more like a more akin to a video game should be i think you the payoff will come in the next two two episodes so these next two episodes are very critical that'll be about four episodes i think you're if if you like it a little bit and if you want to root for hobbin i think the next two episodes going to give you that jolt that you're looking for but other than that y'all i i mean and we'll of course discuss we just put our episode of x-men 5 uh watch six eventually we'll discuss that uh, me and Mark probably will do a review of that soon if we're not with Nerd Soul 5. Again, wonderful. Check us out on, of course, Spotify, other podcast platforms while we wait for our wonderful URL to be uh, redeveloped. But again, we're out there. Uh, stores are going back on sale. It just ended. I'm going to be in Mobile uh, this weekend at the Mobile Bay Anime Fest on April on 420. That's why I'll be at 420 you know shout out to all those who partake i don't but i see you it should be legal and people should be able to benefit from it and make a living i do agree with that 421 i will be at hancock county library in uh Longview, mississippi i forgot exactly the name is either past christian or long beach uh but basically i'm gonna be in two states two days 
all driving along the coast, working hard. Shout out to my fellow vendors for coming. Several people that you might have seen through the YouTube channels or whatever. Shout out to Mike. I know Mike must have got busy. I'm ready. I can't wait to see the Fan Expo video. I know Mike got you know plenty to do, but I can't wait to see that Fan Expo one, man. Just all I can't oh, yeah, wait to see his, yeah. touch, his touch on it. We got Fan Expo. We got some other. I know you sent me some other stuff, but I can't remember. It's tons I, of stuff coming. It, it's just backlog, y'all. I still need. A, I think I still need a link for the uh, the K-pop, not the K-pop, the other anime night I did during Easter. So okay, okay. If I did not uh, send that, check it, and I'll send that to you. If I still have it in my phone, cool. So I get rid of it on my phone. <laughs> I got thousands of videos and pictures in my phone. All right, cool. So, anime night, got you. So, and again, so that's where I'm gonna be at. Um, and then if you're in Baton Rouge, May 10th, Hot Art Cool Nights, I will be at Tap 65. Check me out. All right, word up, word up. Dub, final thoughts? Where can they find you? Yo, y'all, Coop ain't wrong with this. Viral hit is going to be the the shiznit. What I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> and uh, y'all, Go Go Loser Ranger is great. I love, I love Duster D. I, I like that. I like that, Mike. Uh, Duster D got heart, man. I like him. I like him, man. He he smooth. He he's so funny. He's so smug. He'd be like, "Look at these stupid people. They're so stupid. They don't even know." Um, what else? Uh, you know what? Everything. Yeah, I I got, I jumped back on Metallic Rouge, and it sounded like everybody else jumped off. We don't. Ju- I'm gonna jump back on which is just was it probably wasn't one that was uh. It's one of those that probably wait till it wrap up to give it a review. Like I said, bro, it's more thinky. It's more emotional. It's a little dark, a little depressing, <laughs> probably. So, but it's probably still good. But yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no spring anime. It definitely fell for the fall and winter. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I watch it, I'll, I'll probably need to have some watch some Ninja Kamui to make myself feel good about life again. Really? Because uh <laughs> Did you kind of wait exactly feel good either. Yeah, but uh, but I, I, I like I like to see the hands being thrown. Hey, windbreaker. Y'all, I, I'm telling you, Sakura Sakura fight like he holding uh like he holding a a stack of quarters in each hand. That boy heavy handed. It's it's great. So um Y'all can find me. I'm Mark Dub on IG. I'm Mark Dub 44 on IG. I'm not on on the Twitter, Twitter X. Uh, and I'm Mark Wallace on the Book of Faces. And I'm also Mark Wallace in these streets. And uh, we we got some fun stuff coming up. I I'll let y'all know about that soon. So, yeah. all right, that's what's up, man. All I gotta say is thank you for coming. God bless. Good night. <laughs> oh, but for real man we, we got some good stuff on uh, how should we say uh, the Tizub and um, we got still the two heavy hitters coming later so we got we got some heat oh also uh, Spy Family uh, comes out this week I'll be seeing it tomorrow I um, want to see it tomorrow but I, it's, it's late for me at like 9.45 after my wife get home now if Mark wants to go he twists my arm. I'll go. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have a. I got. I got tons of thoughts on these movies that have been coming out, but I. I apologize, y'all. I've been super behind. There's magazine work that has to come before nerd, so I apologize. You gotta get that paper. They, they gotta like get Hobbin. the paper. You know, what I'm like saying? his name, yeah. Hobbin. Yo, gotta get that paper. So, uh, but yes, I'll try to have uh, spy family thoughts and Abigail thoughts this weekend. Oh. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm wanting to check Abigail too. Mike, let me find out you on some horror stuff. Yo, man, I saw the first Omen. I just oh. ain't, I just ain't dropped thoughts on it yet. But Mike, I saw that hey, joint man. too. Can I drop? Hey, well, a, can I drop? Man, one you thought? might need to talk about late night with the devil. Mike, can I drop one thought on your behalf real quick? What's up? Yo, clock police out there for YouTube people. Pause oh. button is your the pause button your friend. I'm gonna be nice about it. The pause button your friend. Like only reason why I say this for one. I personally don't, you know, care if you engage with me or not. I do this for fun. Good that you engage with Mike. It is so tacky in this day and age in 2024, the year of our Lord in 2024, 
if you are not yelling at screen rats, if you are not yelling at IGN, if you're not yelling at, I don't know, honest trailer people for going over 20 minutes and you got, if you can take, you take 20 more, 20 minutes to write long reasons of you can't, why you can't engage or something, blah, blah, blah. Take a breather. Take a break. It's like recess. Remember you go outside, touch grass, then you come back in, you get back to studying or whatever. Apply those concepts. It really offends me when I see my friend having to see this on his post for no damn reason. We're giving you free content. Shout out yeah, to Solar free. Gray. Shout out to Solar Gray. He explained it so eloquently the other time. If you ain't yelling at the big boys who got staffs of people who can edit and anything corporate down, money. and corporate money who can edit things down to a perfect, you know, short to this. And Mike does shorts. He got shorts too. It's yeah, called In a Minute. He got tons yeah. of shorts. Clip those them shorts. things together and do that. Or shout out to our homie Camp. We look, we we caught we joke about Camp Vision. Camp is a, a very important man. Like real talk. He's a good dude, but he's important. Like he he doing some he like Tony Stark for real. Like I ain't even this ain't BSing at all. I ain't gonna tell you what to do because his tagline is like don't find him. Don't find yeah. him at all. So don't I ain't gonna go. So he listens while he's doing these high end things. He hits the pause button. We we chat all the time. He tell us what we doing, and he he appreciate that hour because that's one hour he ain't got to listen to stupid people. But uh, so, so y'all yeah, just be just you know, if you don't like something, and if it's not offensive or it's not offending a person, race, religion, or anything you believe in, just don't watch it. Yeah, it's just y'all y'all can y'all be alright. So I just oh, wanted to get that yeah. PSA, but you know. But word up, word up. Uh that that's what I'm talking about right there. That, that's what I'm talking about right now. You know what I'm saying? Give give a brother some props. But with that said, N-E-R-D, S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, podcast, all that jazz. And until the next time that you uh need to check somebody on the time, just uh take a step back, assess a couple things. And hit pause. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> referees hire. They got ref. Go join the ref league. Go put on um the stripes. Clock watchers. All right, y'all. Peace. 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 Peace.